you guys Hello. doing? Good, Great. thank you. I'm Brianna, I'm from The Black Project. It's good to see you all. Thank all you, right. good to see you too. Congratulations on the film. Thank like, you. this is a huge deal. How buzzing are you? <laughs> we're very, very excited. It's we very might not excited. look like it's right now because <laughs> we're tired, but I promise you we're excited. Mm. How's um, the promotion been so far? Has it been busy? Are you guys, like, enjoying it? Or are you kind of, like... No, it's been busy, and then we're like the audience is loving it. You know, yeah. the new people seeing it are loving it. So I mean, that's more like the encouragement. So we we, we don't feel tired. We don't no, feel we, move. Move. we move. We move. <laughs> we move. I checked that like hashtag on Twitter last night, and like n Nigerian Twitter is going off. They're like, we love this film. It's amazing. <laughs> Four days in a row trending. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. 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 So this is the first ever original film made in Africa, made for Amazon Prime Video, which is amazing a huge deal i'd love to know your thoughts on such a huge streaming giant outside of the continent putting this money and time into african film how does that feel and what do you hope will be the outcome of this i think it's a great opportunity um i think that african stories are already being told elsewhere and so it's time for africa to tell our own stories and it's fantastic that we have the opportunity to tell that on a global platform mm -hmm. um i think that it represents an opportunity for filmmakers in Africa, like myself, um, an opportunity that we didn't have before mm -hmm. to essentially have our voices heard, our points of view, our, our unique sort of ways of telling our own story in our language with our own actors, with people who have, understand the context, whose accents are right, who, <laughs> <laughs> who can speak wow. the language, <laughs> you know. A um, letter in there. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, it's amazing. I feel like it's the beginning of potentially and hopefully a huge movement that could really change a lot of things for us as Africans, absolutely. I really hope so. I mm -hmm. really, really hope. My dad is um, from Ife. Oh, and nice. not oh, naming amazing. any names, but there's a very popular American-made film set in Africa, and he was like, Wh where are they supposed to be from? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what is the accent that they are all doing? Yeah. <laughs> um, something I really loved about this film, and I think it's kind of perhaps overlooked in films or TV that look at kind of gangs, is that it really focuses on found family and it really focuses on those connections that is actually even in day-to-day -day life where people really are in gangs that is what people are looking for is an yeah. aspect of family how did you kind of approach that to make sure it didn't feel like this stereotype of gang life it actually really felt like people trying to reach human connection i think it's also because of what i like to watch i do mm -hmm. like um action as a genre, crime as a genre, even gangster films, but I love human stories more than that. Like, I don't like just violence for violence sake, right? Uh, so for me, it was very important for this to be about real people as opposed to just, we're fighting and it's exciting, you know? Mm -hmm. This wasn't really about excitement, it was more, how do you feel for these characters? How mm -hmm. do you, like, connect to them? And a lot of the themes that we're working with, uh, family, de de destiny, dreams, hopes, you know, all of these themes, they're universal, anybody yeah. can relate to that. And that was very important to me as well. Do you guys want to? Yeah, what, what she said. Actors. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Retweet. <laughs> Retweet. <laughs> what she said, definitely that. <laughs> so did you have to do any kind of research for your roles to get into it? Like, did you kind of I, interact I took, with other gang members? I had, to, I had to take classes. But like, luckily, like, we have well, I, 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 well, speaking for myself, a lot of the material we needed was we got from a, a, the yeah we got from the street. Th mm -hmm. This was things we saw growing up, environments we've been growing up, we've interacted with. Mm -hmm. We deal with this or a lot of those people on a day to day. So you, now having to you know replicate that life, it wasn't like it wasn't far fetched. It wasn't foreign. It wasn't far fetched. Yeah. But for me personally, I had to take classes with uh, my amazing tutor, Lala Kindoju. Thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah, that's my experience. I love your experience. <laughs> His experience is my experience. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. Um, um, I, I had to do better with my Yoruba, uh, Olaru Timi. Yeah. He's an amazing actor. The actor that played Kazim mm -hmm. um, helped me with that um, for Gangs of Lagos. Um, before Gangs of Lagos, my Yoruba was not anything near where mm. it is now, which is awesome because it helped me as a person grow. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, and I think a lot of things as well is just watching the people on the streets. Mm -hmm. They're literally a case study. You, there's so many gifts. Yeah. You pass them every single day. Um, and whether you, you realize it or whether you're conscious of it, you, you, you see some of these things and you're able to pick up little things here yeah. and there um, from the people that you see on the streets because it is about them. 
Yeah, so exactly. where else, where better to get inspiration from than you the streets themselves? touched on the fact that this whole film is in Yoruba. There's like voiceover in English, but this is a Yoruba language film. How exciting is that, that this is on like the big, one of the biggest platforms in the whole world? And absolutely. Absolutely. Someone was asking me, was that, were we afraid to film in Yoruba? Mm -hmm. And we weren't because, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the first thing was authenticity, right, yeah. to the world. Like, they, they're not going to be speaking in English in the streets because it's just <laughs> not real. Like, it would be jarring if they were. Yeah. You get what I mean? So I, our goal was to just tell the most authentic version of our mm -hmm. story in the language that is. So there's pigeon in there. There's some Igbo in there. But they're, obviously, most of it is in Yoruba, yeah. like you said. Uh, and so that was that was the priority. We felt like the audience will come um, yeah. mm -hmm. if it feels authentic and it feels real and they can see that the audience will come. I like that it's, I think if you'd done it in English, it would have felt like you were trying to cater to a Western audience. Oh, exactly. Really like about this is, so you're like, this is a Nigerian film yeah. that is on a platform that you can watch yeah. from a Western point of view, but it's, exactly. it's out there. Yeah. I really love mm -hmm. that. Thank you. So it's a really intense film, physically, subject matter, emotionally, it's all yeah. intense. What was the hardest part for you guys as actors to kind of get under the skin of your characters? You wanna go first? Um, I, I would say the, the emotional, okay, first of all, I like dangerous things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me just first start there. So the fight scenes and all that were a lot of fun, yeah. but those fight scenes were like shot for hours over multiple days. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it so was doing, and we were shooting in the ghetto. <laughs> so it was like a lot, in the hot sun. So it, it, was, it was very grueling. Um, um, and then there was also, um, what was the question? I've gone blank. What was the hardest part uh -huh. under the character? And then skin. the emotional, the emotional um, scenes were also really, really tough. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of us, like Jaddy said, we went to very dark places mm -hmm. um, to be able to do justice to those scenes because they were necessary mm -hmm. um, and and we had a responsibility um, to the story to the characters mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. um, to, to make that as authentic yeah. as, as possible so we had to go dig quite deep <laughs> um, but we're here so we're just really grateful that um, everybody is seeing and appreciating um, yeah. the work and all the all the hard work that went into it the film and the yeah it. I, well, similar to what she said, we enjoyed the physical bits of mm -hmm. it. That's yeah. like, when I go to school, I'm just like, okay, all, the, all of this part will be fun. Yeah. But then I'm um, also embodying the character and personally, haven't, I haven't dealt with um, close loss at the time. Okay. So I had to like reach, reach in, feel the pain or try to feel the mm -hmm. pain of something I haven't felt before. So I'll say that was, you know, the challenge. But seeing how it played out, we did deliver on that. So mm -hmm. I'm glad. Yeah, Jade also doesn't let us see. Jade doesn't. <laughs> if no if Jade doesn't have her tick, well, we're no, gonna be there. We're not doing we're it. We're not leaving until she gets what she needs. You're a perfectionist. And she yeah. is. And there's nothing wrong with it. No. There's nothing wrong. In fact, we're glad because well, when we watch the finished product, we're, we're like, happy. yay. Yeah. You because know, I remember, um, like, I told her that day, like, Mama, I like, I do, do I need one more tick? She's like, no, I got it. And it was your very last day. It does exactly what I said. I got it. So I, 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 I mean, Jenny tells you she has it. Mm. She has Go it. Go to bed. <laughs> if she's worried, be Go worried. So it's it's that. I was that. so excited. Like, I, was on my, I think I was on my bike going on. my was like, because I was, okay. just, I was just waiting for that scene. Like, you know, this is the scene. And we shot it, and then we had to come back and reshoot it. For me, it was two scenes that gave me sleepless nights. It was the finding... Uh. That first one, okay. and then the one that followed it. Followed it. There, there were two back. emotional scenes yeah. that, that gave me sleepless nights, but thank God. <laughs> but yeah, thank God, because this film is, is beautifully done. Like, thank you so much. You're thank lucky you. you have a perfectionist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's dope. She's dope. She doesn't like hearing it, but she's dope. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Toby and Jade, this is actually, well, the first time, but the second time yeah. you've worked together in terms yeah. of what's come out. Yeah. Um, and both have been really well received. So we're kind of seeing the start of like a, actor director partnership like are we seeing a yes. <laughs> what is, what Michael like? Jordan thing? <laughs> leave her hand <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That's the answer. I get, I'm taking ah, yes. 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 from that. I'm no, taking no, yes. No, 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 yes. 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 Absolutely. Like it's there. Yes. So he, I mean, I love Toby and I've worked with him, but at this one, as well, nobody says that, this is my third project with him, actually. So we've actually got a trio. Is what yeah. We're just going to see you guys together for years we've to come. We've been working together yes. for my very first project. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said we <laughs> Giddy up. Uh, <laughs> together forever. <laughs> I feel like sometimes when you find uh, collaborators where the mm -hmm. chemistry is there and the energy works, and like you said before, like dedication to the work mm -hmm. and respect and responsibility, that's not something that's commonplace yeah. when people feel like that seriously about the work. 
um, that's important to a director. Like when you're writing something that somebody cares enough to actually like yeah. go to their deepest, darkest places to deliver on that, that's humbling even for me as a person. So yeah, absolutely. And also wavelength. Like even if you find someone that is willing to do that, absolutely. you might not connect absolutely. in that yeah. way. But you guys clearly do. And absolutely. We do. Absolutely. Shown in the film, clearly. <laughs> Thank, so. you. Thank you so much. So the last thing that I ask everyone that I interview is, what does being black mean to you? Oh. What does being black mean to you? I'm looking at you guys. <laughs> Authenticity. Ah, you took it's my word. My <laughs> God is on the throne. Think that I said it first. <laughs> find your own. Like, uh, find it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's do that again. Being black means like means being authentic. Authenticity. <laughs> yeah, I my hate that right now. <laughs> being black to me. Being black to me. It's just real. It's just. Nature, so another word authentic. that means authentic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. I went back to school there like. Give me some synonyms. I think Mama, yeah. also being fierce, like, Jade, being strong. Have, do you yeah. have any other words that we yeah. authentic I mean, that you'd like so to throw me? Not to be cliche, but it means excellence. And I would mm. say that, that so Nina Simone's song, yeah. To Be Young, Gifted and Black, is one of my most favorite songs ever, That's especially true. because of the backstory when she wrote it and all of that. I think that black people around the world, uh, particularly in the field that we're in, mm -hmm. uh, music, the arts, uh, film, for your work to even make a dent anywhere, yeah. the level of excellence, excellence. you kind of have mm. to aspire to. I mean, our film was made on a budget that is probably a PA's uh, fee in Hollywood or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. uh, but just, I don't know where compared to, I, I mean, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but I just mean it's not yeah. um, anywhere compared to Hollywood budgets. But we're trying to strive for like mm -hmm. a ridiculous level of like excellence even on that budget. So yeah, black people are effing excellent. Black people Dumb. are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, I loved all those answers and thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you so much. And congratulations again on the thank film. You. Thank you. That was fun. You are actually you're actually a <laughs> <laughs>